Hey, Macro Musing listeners, this is your host, David Beckworth, and I have some exciting news for you. First, I'm happy to announce that the Macro Musings team has created an AI chatbot powered by insights gleaned from the 400 plus episodes of the show. We are calling it the Macro Muse Bot. Use it to discover frequently cited papers and books on the show, explore what different guests think on a topic, find archival episodes relevant to your interest, and more. You can even ask the chatbot about me. Second, we are also launching a Discord server for the podcast where you can interact with the show, other listeners, and myself. Yes, I will be regularly checking in on the Discord to answer some of your questions. So between interacting with the Macro Muse bot or Discord, you can get even more Macro Musing content. Check out the show notes for more information. Now, on to the show. Welcome to Macro Musings, where each week we pull back the curtain and take a closer look at the most important macroeconomic issues of the past, present, and future. I am your host, David Beckworth, a senior research fellow at the Mercatus Center at George Mason University, and I'm glad you decided to join us. Hey, Macro Musing listeners, this is your host, David Beckworth, and we are back this week with a bonus segment with Rich Clarido, who's been so gracious to spend a few more minutes with us. And as I mentioned on the show, Rich is more than just a central banker, more than a bond man, more than an academic. He's a musician. So Rich, tell us what you do in your spare time for fun. Well, thank you. Always like having a chance to plug my music. I grew up in a musical household. My my father was a professional musician uh, for a while, and I was in rock bands and high school in the orchestra. And then when I turned 50, I wanted to get back to it. And by that point, the technology had advanced, so you could get a whole recording studio if you had a Macintosh. And so using an Apple program called GarageBand, I, over about a 10-year period, so it worked out to about a year a song, I, I recorded and arranged an album, which I put up on Spotify and Apple Music, and, and you can stream it for free on YouTube. It's called Time, No Changes. So T-I-M-E, No Changes. And I do all the vocals, uh, all the arranging, play some guitar and bass. But the decision I made, David, was I did not want this to be a vanity project. So someone would say, oh, you know, this sort of sounds good for, you know, someone screwing around in his, in his attic. I really wanted it to sound good. And so I hired professional studio musicians. So the the playing you hear on the album are some of the best studio musicians on the planet. And the way this works now, like think if you're collaborating and you're co-authoring a paper, you send your Word document and and then your co-author sends it back. Well, you can do that with musical files now. So I can send a recording of my vocal and a guitar part to a pianist in London who then can then overdub his piano part, send it back. I then send that to a guitarist in Los Angeles, puts down the guitar part, a drummer in Nashville. And so you can collectively get the best musicians in the world on your album so long as, you know, they've got a a, a, a computer. And I have a network of people I... I, I work with. So yeah, it's uh, it came out in 2016. And I like it. So I hope your listeners do too. We'll provide a link to it. But the title is Time No Changes, 13 Songs, 38 Minutes. So, so tell us about the title, Time No Changes. What does that mean? Well, it has a history and it and that history is as follows. So when I was in college in the 1970s, I was doing some singer-songwriter and and recorded a couple of songs and a friend who had a reel to reel deck up in his attic. And I thought this is really cool, but but I'm not going to spend the next 20 years of my life on this, but at some point I'd like to come back and do a proper album, but I made a promise to myself that if I did an album, I would call it Time No Changes. And that phrase is attributed to Miles Davis. This album has nothing to do with jazz, but I thought it was a neat phrase. And what Miles Davis is referring to is that his music at, at that point was more about the timing and the way the phrases evolved as opposed to having a lot of chord changes. And so I sort of like the time that sometimes in your music, you just want time to evolve, not necessarily focus on a lot of chord changes. Now, as my brother pointed out, who's a really good musician, Rich, it may be time, no changes, but there are a lot of chord changes in your song. So maybe it was more aspirational than otherwise. But but I'm working on the second album. Fantastic. Um, I have 
five songs completely finished, and I have four songs in which my part is finished, and then the remaining stuff will be added by the studio musician. So basically one song to go, and I'm aiming to get that finished by either late this year or early next year. And when it is, I can come on your show and promote it. Yes, absolutely. (laughs) So who should folks reach out to if they want to have you at their place performing a concert? Well, I've never, I haven't performed live since I was in my 20s. Uh, so, but but I do want to do that. So I'm thinking for okay. this album that there will actually be a live gig somewhere. But 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 that's still in the that's still in the to do list. Well, maybe you know on the margins of an AEA meeting, <laughs> annual meeting, we can have a special event yeah. where you perform. But well, we're looking forward to that. And again, the the title of the album is "Time No Changes." A new one's coming out, a second one. So thank you, Rich, for this extra time you've spent with us. Thank you. Thank you. Macro Musings is produced by the Mercatus Center at George Mason University. Dive deeper into our research at mercatus.org forward slash monetary policy. You can subscribe to the show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcast app. If you like this podcast, please consider giving us a rating and leaving a review. This helps other thoughtful people like you find the show. Find me on Twitter at David Beckworth and follow the show at macro underscore musings. Mm-hmm.